All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. I got an email that a uh, package was delivered and something I've been waiting for for a while. So let's check it out and see if it's here. Sweet, it's here. Signature CD, uh, they make vinyl work and custom stuff for all your motorcycles. I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed on my bike and tell you guys all about it, so stay tuned. All right, so I already got it opened, but I wanna tell you a little bit about where it's from. This is a company called Signature CD. They're out of Cyprus, so it's a long ways off from the uh, United States. And inside the package, you're gonna find yourself your rolled up film. Now what I did was I ordered the vinyl um, protectants. It's a clear uh, covering that's gonna go over all my painted surfaces on the bike and it's gonna help prevent it from road riding, from sand, rocks. Um, obviously if it's a big rock, it's not going to save the paint, but it's gonna help lessen the impact. And then uh, off-road riding, when you're going through uh, the forest, you're getting brush and things hitting your painted surfaces, it's gonna normally scratch it. What this is gonna do is, this is gonna help prevent those scratches. And if it is light scratching, that is gonna be uh, on the vinyl itself. And if you notice these abrasions on the vinyl, this product has a unique design where it's got a self-healing uh, property to it, meaning that if you see light scratches or abrasions on your protective film, you can take a uh, hair dryer or warm water, apply it to the vinyl protectant, and it will smooth out those surfaces. So again, it's for light abrasions, and we're not talking about uh, actual damaging the product where it's got rips and tears in it, but if it's just got a, a little bit of abrasion from uh, off-road riding, you'll be able to fix those uh, minor uh, scuffs and scratches by applying warm water and uh, and a hair dryer to it. When you guys buy your new bikes, I would highly recommend that you apply this product from the start. It's going to save your paint from any unnecessary wear and tear. On my bike, this has only got about 1,800 miles on it, but just from my legs touching the side here, there's slight scratches and, and uh, scuffs on the paint. And I'm very careful. I've applied wax and things like that, and it just doesn't cut it. So adding this product to that uh, would have prevented seeing these slight uh, discolorations and marks uh, from, from my little bit of riding I've done so far on this bike. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, get this installed. Okay, so when you unravel it, you're gonna get your piece of vinyl and it's gonna have all the pieces already on it. So you can go through, you can see that they're all there. You got your instructions here. I definitely would read these front and back a couple times. And then you've got your diagram. That's gonna show you where each piece goes. Now you got a nice little section back here that is letting me know that this is easy. This is for uh, someone that's familiar with stickers. And again, another diagram telling me where each place is gonna go. So it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Shouldn't be too difficult at all. And uh, we're gonna go from there. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to the dollar store, pick yourself up a spray bottle, and then some Johnson Johnson baby shampoo nothing fancy you're going to take the baby shampoo put roughly 10 percent in here we're going to call that 10 percent and then you're going to fill it up Fill it up with water.
give it a little shake. And this is going to be your solution when applying uh, the film on. Okay. We're going to need to clean the surface. So this is rubbing alcohol 70%. And I've got a microfiber cloth. Just to remove any uh, wax or debris left on it. All right, so I just finished the time-lapse video on the opposite side. As you saw in, in the video, I had a little bit of trouble over here. Um, it, it will bunch up. It doesn't matter how you do it. It's always going to bunch up right here, which isn't a big deal. It's just going to take patience. You're going to work it back and forth with the heat gun um, and then your rag. Uh, the most important thing is you're going to get it lined up right here with the GS logo where it's cut out. Once you set that up as your template, you lock this side in place and then you start working your way into this corner. And you might have to peel it up a few times, work it back this way to stretch it out, but it will uh, shrink up. It'll fit in nicely once you uh, apply the heat. And uh, after about 10, 15 minutes of working the side, you will be done, and it's gonna look really nice. I'll show you guys a close-up here in a second. All right, here's a close-up. As you can see, it turned out really well. Can't even notice it's on. Something that I want everybody to keep in mind is riding season is upon us. As John Snow would say, winter is coming. Well, riding season is coming. If you guys care about your uh, bikes looking new, keeping them in good shape, I would highly recommend you pop over to Signature CD's website. I'll post the link below. Uh, give it a, a look-see. You'll probably find some other really cool designs that will spark your interest. And uh, until next time, guys, ride safe, and I'll see you out there.